Hey everybody! We are going to talk about Facebook parties today. That's embarrassing. So a lot of consultants have reached out to me and said, Lindsay, what are you doing for your Facebook parties? How do I do a Facebook party? So I thought it'd be easy just to kind of put something together about what I do, what I think you should do, what I think you shouldn't do, and all the rest of it. First of all, the only reason that you should be looking into Facebook parties is if you feel this is a natural next step for your business because you are on social media already and actively use it in your everyday life, or if you are having a lot of people ask you to do Facebook parties that for one reason or another cannot or will not do a live party. What you don't want to do is feel like, ah, all these other people are doing Facebook parties and apparently it's this magical land of unlimited customers and unlimited ordering, so I obviously need to get on this train. Facebook parties are very different from live parties. I have been tweaking my formula of what I do for two and a half years. And it has taken a lot of trial and error to find something that really fits with me. Here's a couple of resources for you to help get you started. Norex actually has training on how to do a Facebook party right on your back office. Just look under training, social media, and then online events slash Facebook party. Now, however you choose to do your online events, couple things that you need to know. On Facebook, always use an event. Do not use a group for your Facebook parties. Couple of reasons for this. Number one, an event has a specific time and a definitive end. A group is just a bunch of people standing around. Imagine if you're like, come to my event and people walk in and it's a party and there's balloons and they're like, clearly this is where the action is happening and they're there and they get excited and it's fun, it's an event. A group is your living room with your regular decor and people walk in and they're like, what are we doing here? How long are we gonna be here? Are you serving food? It's a very different feel. And also your hosts are going to have a lot easier time inviting their guests, private messaging their guests, posting updates inside an event. Always use an event. Number two, have a specific time that you are going to party online. Now, whether this is going to be a time frame in one evening where you're like, hey, this is when I'm going live, this is when we want people to be on, this is when I'm gonna be posting the door prize and the roll call and I'm going live to share some of my favorite products or I'm gonna post a video of myself using the products or a video of someone else. You can use mine, it's on YouTube. You want people to show up to this event at a specific time. That is because there's a lot of energy and fun and excitement when multiple people are on your posts going back and forth and they're all online at the same time. This is going to generate excitement, conversation, it's gonna be commenting, people saying, what about this product? And somebody else is gonna jump on, oh, I use that, it's really great. The same kind of dynamic that you would naturally have at a live party, you're really trying to recreate that in an online space where you don't have that face-to-face -face interaction. So you do need to be very purposeful about having different posts and different things that people are gonna be able to interact on. I always tell my host, even though we're using a Facebook event, I want you to invite a maximum of 50 to 60 people. Um, this is not where she goes through and all of a sudden you have 300 people on this event. Facebook doesn't like that and her friends are not gonna like that. They're gonna be like, what, I'm just one of 300, come on. What I tell my hosts is I say, add 50 to 60 people into the event and then take the time 20 to 30 minutes and send each of those guests a private message. I give her the words. I'm like, copy and paste this out. Hey, I'm having an online party. Um, I added you into the event. I really hope that you're gonna be able to make it. Just hit going if you'd like to be a part of it. You know, there's gonna be a roll call. This is what Norwex is. We're gonna have a door prize. Whatever you're gonna say to tell that person, this is what I've added you into. It's just a matter of respect. Right? You wouldn't throw people into a moving vehicle. You wouldn't drag people into a party that they didn't ask. Well, maybe a party because parties are fun. All I'm saying is we want people to be in this event and feel wanted. Like you were on my guest list. I didn't invite 700 people, but I invited you. 
So before I do the live portion of my party, I put a post up in the event 15 minutes before the start time. And what I do is I tell my host, okay, I want you to tag everybody in the comments of this 15 minute pre-post to let them know we're about to start. And if they like the post before the party starts, they get an extra entry into the door prize drop. If you're ready to dive into the world of Facebook parties, first of all, take it easy on yourself. Know that they are very, very different from live parties and your results are often going to be very different than you might be used to experiencing at a live party. I've had Facebook parties with sales over a thousand and I've had many Facebook parties with sales of so it's not always going to be a guarantee every single time. The way that I look at Facebook parties is a supplement to my live party calendar. Live parties are what I aim for first to have a certain amount of those on my calendar because I know if I can stand in front of a group of people, I'm going to be moving some product. Facebook parties are something I just throw as many of those on my calendar as I can and just like hope for the best. Remember, parties are supposed to be fun. So have fun and be yourself. And I, you know, like this post, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Norwex actually has social media training. Norwex? Norwex actually has social media and online event training. If you go onto your back office and look under resources and then, oh. Practice makes better. <laughs> I don't know what C's talking about. Everybody likes to hear my opinions. <gasps> I can't believe she just said she didn't like 